Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now Ethereum is trading below this important moving average, and the weekly candle close is only a matter of hours away. But with that being said, Ethereum is forming a brand new pattern here in the shorter term that I will be discussing in just a moment. All of that and more in this video, so make sure you're watching all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, you might as well drop a like down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way, let's get straight to what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Ethereum to US dollar chart on the three hour time frame, And what we have here is a possible W pattern that is forming, but has not been confirmed at the time of filming this video. For Ethereum to confirm this pattern, we basically need to see a break above this neckline coming in at just above 3.8K. And so if we can see a confirmed break above that level, then that would give us a technical price target towards 4,000 US dollars exactly. But remember that price target towards 4,000 only comes into play once we first break above the neckline at around 3.8k. And what's interesting about having 4,000 US dollars as a potential price target for Ethereum, that is also coming in confluence with this descending line of resistance right here coming in close to 4,000. So even if we do play out that W pattern, once again, we've got a decent amount of resistance at 4,000. Anything above there, we do have this point of resistance coming in just above 4.1k, specifically around 4,120 to 4,130. And by the way, this is the 12 hour time frame for Ethereum and Ethereum Ethereum doesn't really flip bullish again on this chart on this time frame until we can start breaking above this descending line of resistance and more importantly put in a brand new higher high which would require Ethereum breaking above this high at just above 4.1k and if that's the case if Ethereum sees a confirmed breakout from this pattern then the technical price target is towards the top of the wedge coming in at approximately 4.7k but once again that price target only comes into play once we see a confirmed break above this point of resistance and preferably a break above this previous high and as for some major levels of support support to the downside for Ethereum. On the daily time frame for Ethereum, we have this massive descending line of previous resistance, which is now acting as support. And this is coming in at approximately 3,630. Now taking a look at the weekly time frame for Ethereum and bringing out the 20 week simple moving average, the price of Ethereum found major support along this moving average at the end of the September correction. And also we initially found major support at this moving average in that May crash, but obviously close to one month later, we did end up breaking below this moving average average, which at that stage, yes, that was a bearish signal in the immediate short term. But really what happened next for Ethereum over the next few weeks was basically just a lot of sideways price action before we saw a major short squeeze. And by the way, this 20 week SMA is coming in at just above 3.8k. And at the time of filming this video, there's around eight hours to go until we see the weekly candle close. So ideally, if we can see Ethereum play out this W pattern in the shorter term, that could save the weekly candle close, basically meaning that we could still close above the 20 week SMA, but we would need to do that really soon because as I said, we've only got a matter of hours to go until we see the weekly candle close. But as I mentioned in yesterday's Ethereum update video, we are currently showing a lot of signs of a potential short squeeze. Obviously nothing is guaranteed in these markets, but we're simply seeing the same ingredients for a short squeeze that we saw back at the end of July. And by the way, for the new viewers on the channel, this is just gonna be a quick update following yesterday's Ethereum update video. So if you missed yesterday's video, I definitely recommend you checking that one out. But really the main thing to know here is first of all, the black line is the Ethereum price on the daily time frame, And the purple line is the all exchanges estimated leverage ratio, which is basically the total amount of open interest for Ethereum across all exchanges divided by the total Ethereum reserve sitting on exchanges. And usually anytime we see a major spike in this chart, we are just about to see a very volatile move, usually coming into confluence with a major bottom in the market or a major top in the market. And if you're looking at where the estimated estimated leverage ratio for Ethereum is sitting at now, it's basically sitting at the highest levels it's been at in years, which means there's an extremely volatile move coming sometime soon, possibly within the next few weeks. And in yesterday's Ethereum update video, I explained why this is very similar to what we saw back in July, meaning that the extremely volatile move coming soon could be a short squeeze. But anyway, just giving you another quick update on this head and shoulders pattern for Ethereum versus Bitcoin here on the six hour time frame. We initially broke to the downside from this neckline, but right now we are retesting this neckline again, at least at the time of filming this video. This neckline is currently coming in at around 0.08 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so if Ethereum sees a confirmed break back above that neckline, then that basically invalidates this head and shoulders pattern, which would obviously be bullish for Ethereum versus Bitcoin if we can break above this neckline right here. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like 
like this every single day. As always, I appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. And before you click off, especially for the new viewers out there, you might as well check out one of these uploads if you haven't already. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.